Hi, my name is Dana Beck. Thank you for watching my video. And if you would help me out and click that like button, I would really appreciate it. And also click on the subscribe button so you get access to all my videos as they become available. So now let's get into the content. Now, in this video, what I'd like to talk about are increasing conversions with bridge pages. Now, you've heard about bridge pages, maybe. They've also, you know, they've also been called uh, squeeze pages, landing pages, you know, opt-in pages, whatever. For clarity in this video, I'm just going to refer to them as bridge pages, and you'll see why in a moment. But again, every online entrepreneur naturally wants to increase their conversions. And those conversions, you know, the traffic that you send to your landing page, or in this case, your bridge page, you want them to, you know, to convert to raging fans, you know, not raging, raving, <laughs> raving fans. You want them to convert them to raving fans, people who are going to love what your content and who are going to buy from you if you're selling a service or a product. So, you know, those are the conversions you want, and you can accomplish that with bridge pages. And I want to talk about, again, I want to focus more on bridge pages now. So, a bridge page. So you get targeted traffic. And what the, the bridge page is supposed to do, it's the connector between your targeted traffic and that sales page. And, you know, it, it's kind of like the, the glue, it's puts the two together, so to speak. And in, in one model that I did a video on not too long ago, I call it the improved model. Well, in the improved model, now, a lot of entrepreneurs are not using this model. A lot of entrepreneurs, what they do is they take targeted traffic and they send it right to a sales page. Well, that's an, an ineffective way to do that. And so, hence, the usage of a bridge page, which is very effective and can bring greater results for you. So, your targeted traffic goes to a bridge page where you capture their information, they end up on your list, then you send them to a sales page. Now, I did another video on this improved model. I'm not going to get so much into that right now. The focus on this one is going to be the bridge page. And I want to look closer at that. So, on your bridge page, you normally have like a video. And if, you know, and if the video is captivating and it captures their attention, they'll give you their name and an email address and hopefully they'll click on that little red button, click here, and that'll take them to the next step in your funnel. That'll take them to the next, you know, the next page uh, in your funnel. <clears throat> so, but in that video, what you want to do is you want to point out the itch and then provide the scratcher. So, and Dan, what the heck are you talking about? Well, let me let me kind of uh, clarify what I mean by that. All right. So the itch and the scratcher. Now, the itch. What pain points can you expose that your prospect doesn't consciously know that they have? Now, I was I was just talking about the improved model. If if they think, you know, if some of these entrepreneurs, if they think, well, I'm going to do really well, I'm just going to send my traffic, I'm going to bomb that sales page with tons of traffic. Well, you know what, they, they might get some sales, but it will pay, you know, it will pale in comparison to, <clears throat> to how much traffic, how much success they can have by using a bridge page. But again, how would they know it unless you point it out? So you could point something out like that to them, or perhaps... <clears throat> You need to point out traffic that they're buying. You want targeted traffic. And they may think they're getting targeted traffic, but you point out to them that if you know, quite often if you're not if you're not aware, you might be getting bots. You might be getting, you know, machine generated traffic, not from real people. So you want to point, you know, point out the pain points that you know will expose what your prospect doesn't consciously know. Because if they don't know, they don't know. And then so what you want to do is so you, you you point out the pain points. You give them, you cause that itch, so to speak. And then what you want to do is you get into what are the logical steps to solving that problem you made them aware of. What are the logical steps? You know, okay, so in the case of, say, for instance, traffic, bot, traffic bots versus targeted traffic, well, okay, now I see the problem. Well, how... How do I fix that problem? Or how do I uh, increase my conversions 
uh, by utilizing the uh, improved model. So again, you, you point out that weakness. You point out, again, you provide the itch and you provide the scratcher. You point out the challenge, the, the, the obstacle that they may be having, but then you talk about, well, what would solve that problem? Well, here's what would solve that problem, A, B, C, D, and you list out, you know, um, how you would address that problem that you made them aware of, but you haven't talked about your product yet, okay? That's the next step. So then what you do is once you say, yeah, I, 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 need, I need that solution. Do you know where I can get it? <laughs> well, that's where you come in. How does your offer solve the problem that you made them aware of? And again, again, in this simple analogy of the itch and the scratcher, they got an itch and <clears throat> you tell them, well, you need some kind of scratcher. Okay, great. Well, where can I get one? Well, here's one that I can give you. So again, how does your offer solve the problem that you made them aware of? That's a big key. And so again, just going through this real quick before we get to the next point. What pain points can you expose that they may not be aware of? And then what are the logical steps for overcoming that obstacle? What lot, what, you know, what is needed to solve that problem? Okay, great. Well, now that I know what is needed to solve that problem, what is step three? How does your offer? Well, here's how you can solve that problem. And, and again, how does your offer solve that problem? That's a key. That's a real big key. So then, the next thing you want to do is look at your offer and find out what is the main problem that your service, your product, your offer solves. And that's, you know, again, that's what you want to tailor your message to. And again, so if, if your service, your product, whatever, isn't solving a problem, then what are you doing, man? So <laughs> you want to make sure that your service or your product solves a problem, solves an obstacle gives answers to somebody who doesn't know how to do something. All right, so that's the first thing. Then the next thing is, again, you know, you manufacture that itch that your product is going to scratch. You you know, and, and it's not really, I guess maybe manufacture may not be an accurate word. You want to point out that weakness. You want to, I guess, in a sense, manufacture that hole that they need to fill, but that your product is going to supply. And then thirdly, you show and teach people, you know, a few solutions to relieve their itch. But you don't talk about the, your product yet. What you do is you say, okay, so you've got this itch, you need a scratcher, and here's here's how you can use the scratcher, and here's, you know, uh, you know, it can be a low cost scratch. So you talk about the solution, all right? But you haven't told them that you have a scratcher that you can give them. You haven't told them yet that you have a product or a service that will meet that need. You haven't gotten there yet. So by doing it this way, you pointed out the problem, okay? And you now you're pointing out what the solution to the problem is. But, but now you're going to tell them, how do you get it? How do I get it? Reveal the solution, which is your product, then have them click through to the sales page. You don't go to the sales page until, again, you pointed out the problem. Then you, secondly, you pointed out what the solution to the problem is. And then thirdly, once they say, okay, I need that solution. Now you reveal the solution that you have, which is your product and have them click through uh, to the sales page. Now, in, in putting this all together, some key things you need to be aware of, okay? First of all, don't lie. Don't, you know, bait and switch. Don't say your product will do this when it actually doesn't. And I, I saw one entrepreneur, and this, this was terrible. They said, you know, buy this product and it'll solve your problem. And it was only like $9 or $10. They bought it. Great. They were excited. But then the follow-up uh, message was, now that you bought this product, you also need this product in order for the $9 product to work. And this other add-on is like $49. So again, that was very misleading. They, in, in a sense, they lied to them. So you don't want to lie to them, okay? The other thing is to always put their needs first. 
you know, don't, you know, when you're talking about your product, don't talk, you know, say, you know, it's sold a hundred copies, or again, it is the least expensive product out there, or it could do this, or it could do that. Who cares? How is that going to meet their need? Make sure you talk about your product, your service, in terms of what their needs are. Talk about, you know, focusing on what they need, what they're looking for. I, I know you've probably heard the analogy of hanging a picture on the wall. <clears throat> And you go to the store and you need to you need to drill a hole to put a, a a bolt in, let's say, or nail in. And you go to the store and the salesman says, This is the best drill on the market. It can do this. I don't care. Will it drill the hole that I need? All I'm interested in is drilling that hole. Well, again, put the needs of your uh, prospect first, put their needs first and tell them how your service or your product will meet that need that they are looking for. And then number three, actually help people. Actually help people. It's not about you. And, and if you're looking just to make a quick sale, you're not going to last long. You want to provide value. You want to provide quality. Actually help people. And then lastly, be ethical. Don't be misleading. Uh, and, and don't, you know, don't sell junk. Don't sell stuff just to make a dollar. Make sure the product or the service that you're promoting is a quality product and that it is a needful product, that there is a demand for it, and that it also will solve the problem, solve the obstacle, solve the challenge that your prospect is looking to get resolved, that your prospect is looking for. Because again, you know, like I said in a moment ago, you point out the need, you point out the need that your, your uh, prospect has, you tell them what would solve that need, what would solve that problem. Again, you're focusing on their needs. And then thirdly, once you say, yeah, I need that solution, then you present to them your solution, your product, your service. And again, it has to fit also in these four count, these four points as well. Don't lie to them. Don't, you know, bait and switch. Always put their needs first. Actually help people and be ethical. Be ethical. Don't, you know, again, don't mislead. Don't, you know, be trustworthy. So these are some great points to remember. See, there are things to remember. <laughs> these are some great points to remember, you know, um, in your business. And, and again, you know, what you want to do is using that bridge page, using that bridge page and capturing in that bridge page these other points that I mentioned, you know, for higher conversions. And your conversions will go through the roof. Again, if you focus on those last four points, you know, don't lie. Um, always put their needs first. Actually help people and be ethical. And incorporate that into that short little video that's on your bridge page when people click on your link they go to that bridge page and you know talk about uh talk about how your you know how you can help them to meet their need not so much the product but again talk about how you can help them in their need and then you lead them through to the solution of the of the need or the obstacle that you pointed out that they may not be aware they have so go ahead you know and and do that so hopefully you got value out of this. And and again, try and you know, utilize some of these principles, some of these parts I shared. And I, I really believe that you'll you'll see greater uh you know greater conversions in your marketing and in the traffic you bring to your landing page, or in this case your bridge page. Um so go ahead and uh leave a comment if you enjoyed this video. And if you would please give me a thumbs up. I would really, really like, I would, I would like it if you would. That would really help me a lot. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see more videos as they become available. Thank you so very, very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thanks again.